From 2014 to 2019, four LEGO movies released in cinemas. Each movie had so much love and care put into every detail and was loved by millions around the world. Fast forward to 2023 and there hasn't been any new releases since 2019. So let's go through these special movies and find out what happened. Laddie, I'm a cowboy! I'm pretty sure we've all at least heard of this movie. The LEGO movie took the world by storm. The plot, while being simple, worked really well with the concept of LEGO. All the characters reflect the themes they come from, heavily contrasting each other, which I think makes them stand out more. Making different themes from the real world LEGO be different worlds is a perfect way to combine and utilize all these wacky characters. Having the events of the movie just be a kid playing with his LEGO is so brilliant to me, as I and many others have done the same thing with the various sets we got from our birthdays and Christmas. Watching this as a 10 year old was so mind blowing to me and inspired me to create something with the tubs of Lego I had. I'm not too creative, so nothing crazy came out of it, but I tried. Watching it as an adult now, it's so obvious that this movie is just a massive product placement, which paid off as Lego sales increased 25% after the movie came out. But I don't care because they did such an excellent job. It was genius. It was so easy to make actual Lego sets of the movie for the 468 million people to go out and buy. For me personally, the comedy is pretty good, but I think half the jokes didn't really land for me, even though it was made for kids, but shh. Nope, stools don't Come talk. sit on me. Stool Man, such a good movie. I wonder if they'll make a sequel. Freedom. Of course the Lego movie got a sequel, and it was okay. It's still a pretty okay movie, but I couldn't help but think that something was missing. It does build upon the first movie really well with the Duplo characters representing the kid's baby sister. Apocalypse Berg being a metaphor for how the kid from the first movie is maturing and needs everything to be serious and grimy. Only 25% of the jokes landed for me this time. I think they continued the characterization of Batman from the Lego Batman movie very well, but I can't help but feel like they toned him down a bit, but that might be because he wasn't the main focus. We got new characters like General Mayhem, Queen Whatever I Wanna Be, and Rex Danger Vess. It's a shame we didn't get Bad Cop or President Business, as they were some of the funniest characters from the first movie. Now if I was gonna write this movie, I would've had Robin be in it. I think he would've played off Emmett really well, and would be a fun character to have around Batman. I'm gonna try and explain something to you, so put on your listening cap. This cap's too small for my head. There are a few musical numbers, which is a classic movie stereotype. But the characters make reference to the stereotype, which is kind of a stereotype in its own. And that's a stereotype I do not like. Listening cap off. They introduce more themes from Lego, like Duplo, Friends, and Elves. Obviously introducing themes targeted towards toddlers and girls because of the sister joining the fun. The human characters in the first movie added more layers to the film. It was a nice twist, and they had like 10 minutes of screen time. The second movie ruins that by having the human characters more prominent. It can't be a twist ending again because we already know they exist, but I think they could have done it better. Maybe just waiting until the end to show what's going on with the siblings would have been a better way to do it. Also, the mother character is so unfunny. Oh my god. The second part was released five years after the first movie. I wonder what they did in between. You mean Alfred the Butler with two T's? <laughs> Okay, Lego Batman is my favorite Lego movie. The Lego movie is a better overall movie in my opinion, but Lego Batman is my favorite. Almost all the jokes land for me, and the characterization of all the characters are better than the Lego movie. I love the fact that they went full throttle with making Batman a self-obsessed egomaniac who loves himself a little too much for his own good. These traits could have made the character be so unlikable, but his struggles and insecurities balances out his personality to create the best version of Batman. He uses his over self-confidence to hide his loneliness and fear of having people close to him. Such a good character, man. Other characters like Dick, Alfred, and Barbara are excellent characters who each have unique and interesting personalities which contrast and play off Batman very well. The world doesn't connect to the Lego movie in almost any way. The only things are Batman still being a master builder and other villains from pop culture crossing over in the end. The plot isn't anything crazy. It's just stopping the Joker but it really is the journey which makes the movie for me. The themes of accepting help from others and letting people in is what the movie is really about and makes the scene of Batman sending everyone away really emotional. He says, How many times I gotta tell you, Batman works alone. Not as, I'm so good, I don't need anyone, which is what it usually sounds like, but more as, I can't have anyone around me because then they'll get hurt. 
which makes it such a beautiful scene. The animation and visuals are still top notch in all of these movies. Like none of them have a dip in quality. The song in Batman's introduction is such a banger, I don't have to say anything else. The movie did really well, almost better than the original Lego movie. But surprisingly, there weren't any sequels, which isn't bad. It didn't need a sequel, but I'm surprised they didn't milk that cash cow. I forgot to mention, this movie released in 2017, but there was also another movie which came out in the same year. You ruined my life! How can I ruin your life? I wasn't even there. Ninjago was, and still is, one of Lego's best-selling themes, so of course they're gonna make a Lego movie about it. And the movie was... alright. Obviously, I'm a Ninjago fan, but this movie isn't anything crazy. Once again, animation and visuals. However, instead of readapting the show's plot, they decide to modernize the setting and characters by making the ninja go to high school. Ew! The ninja get close to zero characterization. Like, it's insane. Lloyd gets a shit ton of development, since he's the main character, but it's still shocking how they shaft the other ninja. Cole, especially. He has, like, two lines. Garmadon is a fun time in this one, which is a drastic change from his show's counterpart. It's really cute watching him and Lloyd slowly bond. Zane having more robot traits is a cool take on the character, which allows him to stand out from the rest of them. But making Jay the cowardly type doesn't sit well with me. He had freak out moments in the show, but he wasn't a coward. Jackie Chan's voice suits Master Wu so damn well. Like, I love Paul Dobson as Wu in the series, but Jackie rivals him in his voice. The plot is interesting. They have to get rid of this cat, Oh! The ninja don't have their powers until the last 10 minutes, and Lloyd doesn't get any, but when they do get him, they each use it once, but at least it looks cool. If you can separate this movie from the show, it's a neat take on the characters. Hey look, it's the garbage hoods I can't stand. If you want my comedy stats, the jokes land 50% of the time. However, this movie and the Lego Movie 2 underperformed, so that probably contributes to why we haven't seen any new movies in a while. To answer the question, what happened to these movies, they just started selling less and less. Maybe the charm wore off after the first one. Maybe kids just weren't interested in Lego movies anymore. I personally think it was the lack of heart in the last two movies. The Lego movie and the Lego Batman movie felt like the teams behind them were trying to make a good movie with good plot and good characters. While the Lego Ninjago movie and the Lego Movie 2 felt like responses to the popularity of the other movies. You can feel the shift with the writing and comedy feeling more simple and basic made for children, just doing the bare minimum. The later movies have their moments, but pale in comparison to the first two. Tell me what you think. Did these movies fall off or am I just being dumb?